Welcome to Mango Pro. Today I'll be using Lightroom and Photoshop showing how to stack and blend a tracked shot from the Move Shoot Move Star Tracker. Okay, so we've got the uh, two Star Trek images here. We've got the sharp stars where the tracker was on. Which is uh, tracking them for two minutes, but due to the motion, it's made the boat blurry. And then on image two, we've got the tracker off for two minutes exposure, which has uh, made the boat sharp, but the stars blurry. Because obviously it's not moving with the stars. So the first thing we want to do is dehaze these a bit, because they're a little bit hazy. So let's start with the other image, actually. Just go to develop and uh, dehaze. Just do Milky Way a bit more pop, increase the whites, clarity a little, and maybe cool the white balance a bit to give it a bit more of a blue tone. Yeah. Pop the vibrance up a little bit as well, lights up a little bit. Just a little bit but. So, if we go copy settings. Copy and then we select the next one and then paste settings that will apply all the adjustments onto that photo. So now we've got our two layers here ready to go. So if we select them both, go edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, we we'll go to layers. Got two layers here, so we want to select them both. Control A or Apple A if you're on the Mac. Edit Auto Align Layers. Leave it on the Auto. Okay, so let's align them. And then what we want to do is we want to go to Layers and so we want to mask the layer of the sharp stars. We click on that layer. Let me just rename them. Sharp stars. Sharp boat. Click sharp stars. Mask. And on the mask, white reveals black conceals. So we want to invert the mask to hide everything, which will just show the sharp boat with the blurry stars. And now if we get a white paintbrush, remember white reveals. B for brush. Set it to white. We can paint in the areas that we want to show through in this sharp area. As you can see, it's overlaying the sharp stars onto the sharp boat foreground. So, there you go. I'm going to do this a bit fast and loose. It won't be military precise, but. Because if you see around this boat, we've got some in the blurred stars still, but I just do it loose and fast for the sake of this tutorial. Okay. So you'd want to spend a bit more time on that than me, obviously. Make sure you use a soft edge brush when you do this, just so it blends nicely. Okay, so if we hit save, and we go back to Lightroom, that should be a New image in there. Go okay, back here. Here we go. No, nope, not that one. It's already the one I was on actually. So now we've got sharp stars and a sharp boat. So now we just want to retouch it really. So I'll just show you a uh, few of my techniques that I use. First, let's crop this frame in a little bit. Okay, so first to get a uh, Gradient filter. Um, bring exposure down a little. Bring clarity up. Pop the whites. Put down the blacks a little. Pop the highlights. Some texture. Dehaze. Dehaze it a little bit more. Okay, so that makes the, the Milky Way pop a little bit more. Then if we get the radial filter. And just put this over the Milky Way section. 
as you can see at the minute it's darkening it so we want to invert that so if we go down to here where the mouse is and just tick invert okay so we just reset this exposure back to normal and we just want to do the clarity again what makes it pop add some more white a bit of contrast highlights maybe up or down have a little play depending on your picture shadow bring down a little bit okay and then we can do the clarity again on the whole image a little bit with a little bit more texture okay so we, you know, if we add some vibrance open up the shadows a little bit a bit of overall contrast you add a tiny bit of saturation to the whole image as well you see it's really popping there now you can also get an adjustment brush maybe set that to highlights uh, just give it a paint over certain areas here clarity a bit more yeah. um, what else can we do dehaze the whole image a little bit more make it pop a little bit more Take the exposure up a little bit um, it's a little bit more it's not far away from the picture I shared to Kent Life, so yeah, pretty good. Also, if you're shooting a bit of a higher ISO, you might want to come down to the noise reduction. Let's come down here, come down to detail, noise reduction, just put that up a little bit, soften everything overall. And yeah, that's uh. That's a stacked and blended two image shot of the Milky Way with the Move Shoot Move Star Tracker. Um, my first image of this, I did actually have about six shots of the sky and I did stack them in a piece of software called Sequitor, which just brought out a little bit more detail. Um, I didn't want to go too far with the steps on this tutorial because it's uh, not essential. You can just do it with two shots as you've seen. But um, I may in the future make a tutorial with Sequitor as well just to show the difference it probably adds about another 10% of detail on there really so yeah all the best